Stay home, save lives. Hello children, this is Shikha Shivas and I am again with you to share a small video on lesson number one of English literature. Children, in the last session we had discussed the meanings and pronunciation of the difficult words used in the lesson. In this session we are going to read the lesson and simultaneously I am going to explain you the lesson. Before we start with the lesson, I want all of you to please keep your books in front of you and keep your fingers on each word of the line that I read. Those children who don't have the books with them, they can just listen to the video carefully. So let's start reading the lesson. Lesson 1 The Peacock and the Fox Once a fox was wandering in a forest. He saw a beautiful peacock sitting on the branch high up on a tree. The fox thought to himself, how can I have this peacock for my meal? So here we find that there was a fox who was roaming in a forest and while roaming in a forest he saw that on one tree there was a beautiful peacock sitting and that peacock was sitting on a high branch of a tree and seeing that beautiful peacock the fox became greedy and he wanted to have that peacock in his meal he wanted to kill and eat that peacock let's read the next part he knew that he could not climb up the tree to kill the peacock now the fox knew very well that he couldn't climb up the tree to kill the peacock. Let's read the next lines. The fox got an idea. He said to the peacock, How is it that you are sitting in the tree? Don't you know that it has been decided in the meeting of animals today that from now on animals and birds will not kill each other for food. Bigger fish will not eat smaller fish. So here we find that the fox thought of a plan and he said to the peacock that why you're sitting in the tree? Don't you know that today, today there was a meeting of animals and in that meeting it was decided that from today onwards the animals and birds will not kill each other and have them for their food. Even the bigger fish will not eat the smaller fish. Let's read the next line. The peacock was cleverer and replied outwittingly. That means king lion, tigers and leopards will eat grass from today. So the peacock was also very intelligent. Very smartly, he asked, he replied to the fox that if you're saying that in the meeting it was decided that the animals and birds will not kill and eat each other, so do you mean to say that the king lion, tigers and leopards will, will eat grass from today? Let's read the next lines. But the fox wasn't ready to give up so easily. He said, come, let us go to the king together and ask him. Now the fox was also very clever. He said to the peacock that if you don't believe me, if you think that I'm not saying the truth, you come down and we'll together go to King Lion and ask him what was decided in the meeting. The peacock said, why should we go there? I can see your friends coming here. Now, after the fox asked the peacock to come down, the peacock said to the fox that why should we go to the king lion? You just see there some of your friends are coming here. Who is coming here? The fox asked in surprise. Hounds, the peacock replied. 
So when the peacock said that your friends are coming, the fox was astonished. He asked in surprise that who all are coming here? And the, what did the peacock reply? He replied that the hounds are coming. I already explained you the meaning of hounds. Hounds are a type of are the type of dogs that are used for hunting. Hounds. The fox repeated the words in fear and at once tried to run away. And after hearing the name of hounds, the fox was very much frightened and he wanted to run away from there. Why do you run away? You just now said that all animals and birds have become friends. The peacock said laughing. Now seeing that the fox is getting frightened, quickly the peacock said to the fox and he said laughing that why do you run away from here? You only said that all the animals and birds have become friends. They will not eat and they, they will not eat and kill each other. But perhaps the, the hounds did not hear about the meeting. The fox replied and ran away into the deep forest. Now hearing this, the fox replied to the peacock that maybe the hounds were not present in the meeting and they didn't know what was decided in the meeting. And after saying this, the fox left everything and he left the intention of eating the peacock and he ran into the deep forest. So children, this way the peacock could save his life. So what lesson do we learn from the story? We learn that like the peacock, we should also be intelligent. We should not be a fool and just come into the talks of anyone just like that. We should know how to save our lives. So here we found that the peacock was very intelligent and he could save his life from the cunning fox. So we finish with the explanation of the lesson. I hope that you all have understood the lesson very well.